Hey guys, what's up? It's Sirius Henson, and welcome back to Tegan's Guide to the Galaxy, myself and Gerald. Hey guys. Picking up not too long after the pop, let's hop into it, shall we? Yeah. All right, we figured it out. We figured we had to, we had to do some, some fiddling, but we figured it out, and we're now on the planet Europa. We are. Woo! Doesn't yeah. look like this, but let's let's go down and, and, and like see much. what she looks like. Yeah, let's go. Let's take the, take the expressway. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, look, we can see... Uh, there's Jupiter up there. Ooh. You can see the, the little 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 planets. <laughs> Alrighty, that's not too bad. And this looks like absolutely frigid stuff. I can't seem to pick it up with my uh, titanium bucket. So I'll use a regular bucket. It's Europa oh. water bucket. Really? Yeah, it's Europa water bucket. Cool. I want a nice spa. A little, Europa little, water. Little, little, little Europa spa. I hear that's good. Oh, that's right. I'm an android, and yeah. Uh, Halister, the chief on board of the Antarctic Space Station, has asked adventurers to journey to Europa in search of new foods you can use in his recipes. You need a Europa adult, apple and raw Europa eel meat. Ooh, Europa eel meat. Look, funny thing is, I'm not actually taking damage in Europa water. Really? I yeah. was, oh, I guess I was too. It's like, oh, guys, it's not, it's not, not that bad. Wait, wait, wait. No, so there's... No are, is it, like, basically a fish? Can we fish? That's what I'm guessing. Oh. Oh, I think there's a... Uh... It looks like there's stuff underneath. There's there's ice. There's, like, caverns in town there? All right. Let's oh, take so a let's look. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so... I got my gun out. Europa ice. It's drilling down. God, it is taking a while to dig through this thing. Huh. Jeez. Well, you're technically kind of in water, I guess, so. Yeah, but at least I'm not suffocating. No. Well, we're, we're androids. We're cool. We're cool like that. I wonder if this like ice is only underneath the water or if it's, like, surface rock. Mm. Oh, because the ground is hardened ice. Oh, is that what the... Um, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I... extracting out a chunk like this. Can I? That it? Yeah. See, look. There's like pockets of ice down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep digging. I'm and digging. You know say about the whole uh, about you know the stuff on discovery on Europa and theories and whatnot. Is that uh, in... No, tell us. Actually, I don't. Theorize... I know nothing of Europa. Well, they theorize that since this is, Europa is where, like, the geysers, they see geysers on uh, on the planet. They okay. They figure that uh, these geysers are, like, they, 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 they hint at something deeper that, uh, like, like actual uh, water areas down below. Hmm. And there, there's water, there's ice, and a life, potentially. Yeah. As and long as there's, you know, water. heat source and carbon, uh, carbohydrates and other building blocks, amino acids and methane and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They theorize that there could be life. And since it seems like these, these uh, ice geysers, these liquid uh, water stuff that's being shot out of Europa every now and then, it seems mm -hmm. like they're actually driven by some kind of subsurface thermal uh, plate, like tectonic activity. Hmm. So they theorize that that's probably the case. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, if only we could find all these eel things they're mentioned. Well, that's why I'm almost thinking. I'm like, is that something? Can we fish and get something weirder out of here? I don't know. I wonder. I wonder. 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 Okay. How I'm going to get out of here? I have no idea. Let's put this up. Are you in a cavern right now? Or are you still tunneling through the ice? Uh, I'm still tunneling through the ice. I'm tunneling down towards one of the caverns. Okay. The cool thing is that this, this ice, when you break it, it just turns into regular water. Mm -hmm. Well, so that... Technically, we could take like some stone with us and just like make a well. Probably a smarter way of doing it, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Who said I was smart? Whatevs. 
I don't need your dog check it let's see can I are they are Europa eels hold on eel Europa eel meat doesn't have a have a use or doesn't come from anything because I'm thinking what huh. if you have to fish for them. Well, that's that's yeah, that's my thought. Whoa, that's my. And luckily, because we have our grappling hooks, we have a whole bunch of string on us. So. Oh, I, f I found one of the caves. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm going. Oh, there. it is mm -hmm. all ice down here. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. cool looking. Actually, I do like it. Oh wow! Look at this. There's pockets of water all over the place. See, that's kind of cool. Oh, hello. what are you chasing? Um, the, uh... Is that a bug over there? Yeah, probably. That's what cats do. They're not seeing any eels. They're not seeing any apples. I wonder if apples are from the, uh... Like, there's the vacational village on this town, on these, uh, worlds. I wonder if they oh, okay. a village. Maybe, maybe they have eel. They sell eel for that, maybe? Who knows? Huh? Okay. Ascend! Yay, That's grappling hook. Cool. How are you getting up with the... Because I, I used the grappling hook to get up, but I can't really get out of this thing. Let's see. There's a single uh, thing up, a single shaft upwards. Ooh. Okay. Right, let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. Mm -hmm. uh, Villages, villages, Ugh. villages. Naturally, as soon as I want to look for a village, there's going to be found. Nope. All right, I am going to. Let's see. I think we've. I think we've got some wood. I'm gonna just, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try fishing just a little bit. Okay, go for it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll be on the lookout for a village. See if I can find some Europa mm -hmm. trees with some Europa apples on them. Yep. Other planetary fishing. I think that's good. Extraterrestrial fishing. Yeah. <laughs> it's every <laughs> angler's dream. To fish I'm an intelligent planet. life form. Ooh, you're going to cook up good. No. <laughs> yeah, if this is intelligent people, I'm going to screw up first contact. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is kind of a problem, huh? You don't want to ruin first contact. Then again, fish are tasty. Yeah. Uh, it'll be probably be the tastiest first first contact I've ever had. So let's see. All right. Uh, I kind of wonder, though, about first contacts, because I wonder if we might be considered tasty to some alien mm. race. Yeah. It Which could be. Which is not a very pleasant thought. They'd come down here. They'd have a cookbook we couldn't decipher to the last minute when a bunch of us were already on to the ship. To serve, man! It's a cookbook! <laughs> it's a cookbook! Come on. Soil Give and me green fish. is made of people! <laughs> it's people! <laughs> I'd like to see... I'm hoping the, the Orville at one point in time does this in there. You never see like a planet where the the people are fine, but it's just they're so freaking annoying. And I think that would be kind of cool to see. Oh, did I launch it? Oh, jeez. Where it's like, oh my gosh, planet we need to get the heck out of here. Yeah, it's like they're fine. It's just you know they're they're you know there's they're, nothing, they're there's nothing wrong with them stuff. aside from them being completely annoying. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just want to get out of here. It's like all I can talk about is the weather. Yeah. Ad, ad nauseum. <laughs> they just keep talking and talking and talking. Mm -hmm. Or like they're constantly in your business, like looking at, what you doing? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How, oh, oh, can I see? What's that? What's this? What's that? It's like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. I'm, I am fishing and I've, I've actually caught two fish. Okay. Regular fish. Yes, but the problem is because of the gravity it is, every time I pull in a fish, I launch it over my head. <laughs> Just, since you since you caught fish on this planet, does that mean technically we've discovered an extraterrestrial life beyond spiders and creepers and zombies and skeletons? Yeah. yeah. 
Awesome. Obviously, they have raw fish and raw salmon somewhere. In, uh, Go figure. On another one. It's universal. I was expecting bees. Yeah. I wonder where we could find eel. I don't know. I was expecting it to kind of be in the cave. Like as yeah, a, like a mob a, or like something. Yeah, like a mob like in that. the cave. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like squid. Gonna, yeah. I'm going to fish up a couple more and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, now, are you fishing in the dinner. cave? No, up on top, uh, you that one that one place that uh, one little 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 lake that we came across. Yeah, very surface, small, the very small f- pond. Pool? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I I am still heading uh, due west, mm. and I am having very little oh. luck. At space rock carp. Okay. Space rock carp. Yeah, it's not really. It's just carp, but no. <laughs> All right. Well, you can go fish. You can always, uh, you know, sell sell it over at uh, at Space Long John Silver's, <laughs> or go to Space Red Lobster. Mm, space Red Lobster. You can always go to Space McDonald's. Get a get a uh, fillet of fillet of space fish. <laughs> fillet of space. <laughs> can I have some tartar sauce? You monster! You don't what get tartar say? sauce. You get space get tartar it. sauce. <laughs> it's better because it's in space. It's tardier. It's it's, it's tardier <laughs> in space. It's got the... Everyone yeah, knows I'm not that. seeing any actual caverns like the other planets normally have, like the long, mm-hmm. winding cave complexes. All I'm yeah. seeing are just little openings to under to, to like subsurface lakes and ponds. Okay. So I wonder if that's just there. I don't know. I mean, still pretty mm-hmm. cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just I think this is one of the more unique plants we've been into actually. Okay, uh, so. Europa. Mm-hmm. Europa door. Europa. Yeah, they have like planets for it. They have. They actually have mm-hmm. stuff. But I wonder if this is. Oh. I wonder if it's the difference between. Oh. I'm wondering. Okay. A, I, I know a, you're wondering. Thought. I'm just here's a thought. Want the words to come out? We have we have two different uh, space uh, extra mods for space for Galacticraft, yes. right? Yeah, right. Yeah. We got four space, and we have uh, more planets. Yes. The Europa stuff appears in both mods. Oh, so they could be overriding those. And from the, what I'm seeing, the the bucket, the bucket that I'm looking at, it, the, with, the, with the water in it, is right. four space. The sand, the the, the sur- subsurface ice is four space. Four space. The, yeah. The hardened ice is four space. So I'm wondering if, uh, with the other stuff, the the raw Europa me- eel meat and the, e- the Europa apple. And all the Europa saplings and Europa trees mm-hmm. and Europa stuff. There's the Europa underwater geysers. That's from the more planets mod. Oh. Well, that's a bummer, isn't it? Yeah, so I wonder if we're just reaching the wrong Europa. Mm. Or if the configs are actually possibly overriding it. Or if the configs are overriding it, yeah. Hmm. All right, well. All right. Well, that's that's kind of a bummer. It is. I mean, the plant's very unique. Don't get me wrong, but maybe maybe in between episodes we'll uh, we'll we'll mess yeah, around with some of the slowly configs. Slowly freezing. But yeah, so let's head. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna head back to base. Uh, TP Gerald. Oh, I. <laughs> Hi, Gerald. <laughs> that that was the wrong thing to do. Oh, you're 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 <laughs> traveling the same direction that I was traveling in. Oh, God, <laughs> I went so far. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh. I think we'd also see, like, I don't know, a dungeon around here. That's what I'm looking for. I was looking for village, dungeon, something like that. Yeah, what? maybe not Europa. Oh. oh. All right, well, let's have a back in style. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Run in. Oh, come on. Grappling hook's a good idea. Oh, they're great. I'm running out of string, though. I only have two more left. 
Aren't you picking up more when you? You only pick up the one you pick up if you stand up if you get to the grappling hook. When you connect to it, and I've missed a couple times. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Well, uh, how far are we? Let's see. Uh, we're done. Yeah, not a oh, we're not. Too, we're not too far away. I'm not we're a okay. okay, so let's do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm using physics. Now, uh, I'll be using physics. Now look. What did physics even do to you? What are you doing? You're going up and then down. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm 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 using the um I'm using the the railgun to launch myself closer to the space <laughs> to, to the ship. Because <laughs> so that's what the up. thing is one of the things you do. It's like I I once uh, once had that that question in school of like oh if you were if you were stuck on the moon and you could only bring like ten things with you, uh mm. and you had you already had a spacesuit and you already had oxygen for like five days, uh yeah. how, and you had like there's a there was a a place that was about you know ten days journey away how would you survive. Mm. And what would you bring? Yeah. And one of the the things I said I said, and they had like a list of different things to bring, like mm -hmm. a gun with a twelve a twenty four rounds, or um, you know, a compass, or uh, mm -hmm. you know, extra bottles of water, that sort of thing. And I was yeah. thinking, I'm like, okay, well, first off, I actually would bring a gun. And okay. the reason why I would bring a gun is because the the the, per, the concussive force of firing the bullet. Mm -hmm. Would in this case, in in the low gravity and and no air resistance of the moon, yes. would catapult to the opposite direction hard. Mm -hmm. So you to make my journey faster, instead of you know doing the the the, the astronaut hop across the moon's yeah. surface, I would just point oh. the gun away and then fire and then t you know basically jump myself away. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, the uh, the fire extinguisher from Wally. That's, That's how another would... one. Yeah. yeah. The Just fire extinguisher. There you go. Yeah, good stuff. Which is pretty darn close to I think how uh, um, shuttles up uh, when they when they yeah. break the atmosphere to actually do that. So yeah, yep. you kind of same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's funny stuff. Get a lot of technology, right? Mm hmm. All right. Well, this is kind of a short right, episode. We're only going to wrap up here for now. So all I want right. to thank you all for joining us for Tegan's Guide to the Galaxy of myself and Gerald. If you mm -hmm. are new to either of our channels, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let us that kind of thing. As always, I want to give a shout out to And a Game. If you're looking for quality Minecraft servers with excellent support, go check out And a Game in the description down below. Be sure to use the coupon code or the referral link to know, so we know who has the best fans. It's clearly us. Ooh, a fishing rod. That would work too. Sorry. <laughs> fishing rod. <laughs> Throw it, yank yourself closer. Yeah, yeah, just fish all around. <laughs> Remember, it's going to throw you back, too. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.